Kids freaking love dips, you guys. Especially, especially <laughs> dips. <laughs> Hey guys, Sarah Remmer here, registered dietitian and mom of three. I'm no stranger to picky eating. All three of my kiddos, especially this one, have gone through their own special selective eating phases, and I know how frustrating it is. I also see parents every day in my nutrition counseling practice who are fed up with their kids who refuse to eat or even try a new food. New foods are unfamiliar and even scary to some little ones. So we need to practice major patience and make it as safe and positive as possible so that when they're ready, they'll try it and hopefully like it. Here's the thing, it's not your job to get your kid to eat or even try a new food. Sorry, I know that's hard to swallow. Excuse the pun. So what's a parent to do? Don't worry, I got your back. Here are my top five ways to entice your kids to try new foods. Number one, stop short order cooking. Everyone should get the same meal, period. There should be no short order cooking or catering or going back and forth to the kitchen to grab foods that your child would rather have. That is way too much work and it actually teaches your kids that they don't have to try new foods. Instead, make sure that there's four or five foods served, some may be new, some may be tried and true favorites, but make sure that there's at least one food that you know your child will eat. Then, you let your kids take care of the rest. Number two, take the pressure off completely. Kids sense pressure, whether it's direct, like saying, eat one more bite, or whether it's indirect and you're just hovering over them. They sense it. So what I'm saying here, without being too blunt, is back the off. Kids shouldn't be forced to eat, but they should be expected to come to the table for family time, and they should be warned that the kitchen will be closed after mealtime. If there's a new food that your child doesn't want to try, and they may even get upset at the sight of it, let them know that they don't have to try it if they don't want to. Remember, it's your job to offer new foods, sometimes over and over again, but it's totally up to your child as to whether they eat it or not. Number three, give them permission to play. Sometimes kids aren't ready to eat a food, but they are ready to explore it. What this might mean is touching it, licking it, stacking it, you get the idea. One example is giving your child permission to taste a food and then politely spit it out in their napkin if they don't like it. This creates a safe environment for your child to become comfortable with a new food, even if they're not ready to eat it yet. Number four, try a tester plate. Sometimes kids get really upset when new unfamiliar foods touch their loved foods. And then it's all just yucky. So try giving your child a tester plate where they can separate out the new foods and explore them and taste them without contaminating their favorite foods. And number five, try a yummy dip. Kids love dips, you guys, especially when it comes to veggies, which tend to be the yuckiest. Put some hummus, ranch dressing, or even ketchup out on the table with some veggies and watch the magic happen. Remember, it's totally normal to have to reintroduce a food dozens and dozens of times before your child will actually eat it. Patience is key here. Now, if you're really struggling with picky eating and you need some personalized guidance, you can always contact me and my team at the Center for Family Nutrition. And for more tips on feeding kids and easy family-friendly recipes, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram and visit my blog at sarahremmer.com.